Lifetime Hearing Services, the premier hearing healthcare facility of the PD, is so very pleased to sponsor this next conversation with Nicole, my good friend. Sit back and enjoy. This episode of Conversations with Nicole is sponsored by the following. AB Tax Service. AB Tax is your key to financial success, providing quality bookkeeping, tax preparation, and IRS assistance for individuals, entrepreneurs, and small business owners year-round. Give us a call today at 843-413-0050. Ann King, brand name real estate broker agent. Looking to purchase your first home, downsizing or relocating and wanting to sell? Ann King, a licensed broker with brand name real estate, is here to serve you. Got questions? Call the pro. Who knows? Call Ann at 843-245-6486. 19th Green Indoor Golf Park. Looking for something different and fun to do? Check out the 19th Green. Florence's only indoor golf center, offering regular specials, discounts to first responders and veterans. Located at 112 Woody Jones Boulevard, Florence, South Carolina, 29501, next to Academy Sports. At Your Place Healthcare, need a DOT physical, don't have time to wait in line, need quick and trusted results. Call At Your Place Healthcare to schedule your appointment today, 843-289-5061, or visit them online at atyourplacehealthcare.com. This episode of Conversations with Nicole is sponsored by Red Silk Media Group. Red Silk Media Group specializes in business branding, marketing, and advertising services for entrepreneurs, startups, and small businesses. Give them a call to schedule your free 30-minute consultation at 855-773-3745 or visit them online at redsilkmediagroup.com. Red Silk Media Group innovative design to expand your brand. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Conversations with Nicole. Today, my guest is Deegan Hudson. She is a singing ventriloquist comedian, and I'm excited to have her on the show today. She resides in the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area, where she performs all over the place. Deegan, it's good to see you. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Nicole. I'm so excited to be here. I can't wait. I'm thrilled to have you. I have to say, you are my very first singing ventriloquist comedian that's a lot in one act yeah it is <laughs> well thank you well you're a very young 22 years old in this wonderful exciting career but it all started when you were about nine years old tell me about that um well actually what what got me into ventriloquism was my mom she's a ventriloquist as well and um kind of how I got into it, um, it's a little little sad, but it, it turns out in the end. Um, when I was about nine, my, my dad went missing unexpectedly, and we later found his body in the PD River three days later. Um, and as a nine-year-old, that's really hard. My mom, my older brother, and then me. And it's hard to deal with stuff like that. You don't really know what to do. Um, but my mom, I grew up watching my mom as a ventriloquist, she would actually come into my classroom and do her puppets for my class and all my friends. Uh, she would do like vacation Bible school and all this stuff like that. Um, and she told me, you know, she never pushed me to do ventriloquism. She was just, you know, she's the type of mom that's like, you do what you want. <laughs> yeah. But when my dad passed away, I would, I was fourth grade, I'd come home and kind of watch TV and just lay around. And she said, Deegan, you could do anything. You could play sport, do ballet, anything just to, you know, build your confidence back. Um, and I don't know why I just, I decided, I'm like, you know what? I want to be just like my mom. Um, and I just fell in love with it ever since. <laughs> so how do you start learning how to be a ventriloquist? That's, that's a tough thing to do. You, you watch well, a lot of people do it, and I think, well, they're not very good, but I could never do it. But, I mean, that's that's a hard skill. 
Well, I think I have it easy because I have a personal coach. Yeah. <laughs> it's mostly just practice. You know, you replace some words like my least favorite words are like B's and P's. And you just kind of, or not words, letters, but yeah. um, you replace those letters with like a B becomes a D, a P becomes like a T. And the slower you speak and the more practice you do, the better, just like anything else, just like a sport, just practice. <laughs> right. Yes. Practice makes perfect. So you started this at a young age. Yes. Walk me, walk me through what it's like to perform and to practice and to take up this sort of entertaining. I mean, I just love it. I love entertaining. I love meeting people. I love making people laugh. Um, and I'm really, it's something, I think I love it so much because it's something that me and my mom share. Um, it's just something we love to do together. She she helped me design um, my own custom puppets. Oh. <laughs> we both, we drew them out on paper and we kind of, like we were like okay we want it to look like this we want to have this kind of eyes we want his personality to be like this um and I didn't physically create my characters I took them to a professional doll maker <laughs> that's yeah. like a skill in itself to create the figure um but my mom and I we drew it up I have um four custom characters okay, go ahead and introduce us to one of the, the first characters that you have with you today so this is Critter now Critter is a little oddball he's part Chicken, cat, cow, and raccoon. <laughs> okay, as you're getting critter, I'm going to try to say that. Chicken, cat, cow, raccoon. Yes. Okay, let us meet critter. <laughs> Hello, critter. Oh, nice to meet you. You look so pretty today. Oh, why, thank you. <laughs> well, critter, do you have any uh, special talents to share with anyone? Oh, yeah, I'm a pretty good whistler. If I do say so myself, he is a good whistler. <laughs> and Critter has a little surprise. Let's see if we can pick it up. Ready? Count me off, Nicole. Count him down, Nicole. Count down from three. Three, two, <laughs> one. Oh, whoa. Your udders just gave us a cow milk spray. Like that? Hey, I'm utterly ridiculous to call. <laughs> yeah. Critter, you are funny. You are funny. I like it a lot. So, Critter, um, you came about how long ago did Critter come about as far as your planning of, of characters? Critter is actually my first custom character okay um and so he you can probably tell but he he's not like a hand puppet he is i didn't pop off his head he's um a figure that's on a stick like this and he is okay a actually i didn't know that because i'm not very familiar but that makes sense now that i oh and so you have to do all that from behind too and you have to speak make him talk i would Talk about multitasking, Deegan. <laughs> I would have failed terribly already. Not move my lips. Uh, remember all the movements. Remember the words. Make people laugh. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. It well, is a lot. But it's fun. It's so much fun. <laughs> so do all of your characters, are they created with the stick behind? Or do you, do you have some where you put your hand in? I have Critter and then I have Pearl that are figures. Um, and then I have two others. I have a genie and I have Bob the Blob and they use your hand like that. So I have a nice mix. You really do. <laughs> Talk about coming up with the script, you know, the storyline for, for Critter to <sighs> be the character, to come up with you, the dialogue. How does that work? That is my biggest struggle, I think. It's really hard. You know, comedy is subjective. Yes. Um, and when I would sing, I still sing with this character because I love to sing. And when you're singing, it's like, okay, you know, people clap for you and you're either a good singer or you're not, you know. But with comedy, it's like, well, one person might find this funny. One person might find this offensive. One person, you know. So it's just, it's a lot of playing around. It's a lot of getting into the character's mind and their brain and thinking how would they react in this situation. Yeah, uh, that's very true. A lot of talking to yourself. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> and that's yeah. perfectly acceptable in your case, just so you know. Leslie Kirby, that's me, and Nicole go way back over 30 years. I was just beginning my career as an audiologist and Nicole was a new news reporter way before she became a beloved news anchor. She has always professionally supported my hearing healthcare practice and I am so very excited to be her first ever Conversations with Nicole sponsor. You know, that's what we should all do, support one another. And that's just what my lifetime hearing team does with all of our patients. We make lives better and easier with communication so that people can love life, enjoy the grandchildren, enjoy church, enjoy TV, and hear the I love you's that mean so much. Offering the best in Belltone hearing aid technology, as well as providing cochlear implant solutions, we have become known as the PD's premier hearing healthcare facility with having evaluated more than 52,000 ears to date. With national award-winning services, call us for your on-time appointment. I'm always in awe of people that can do what you do, Deegan. And talk about your act. It's 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 not a kids act. It's a little elevated. Yeah. So it, we might we might say it would be probably you know rated R if it was a movie. Yeah. You know, because well, you could, yeah, PG or PG thirteen or R. Just you know, totally crude, totally blue. Right. Um, but we are a little naughty. So uh, if you're the type of person that likes, you know, little naughty adult fun, um, it's just a fun show. We we actually, we have some volunteers come up on stage and kind of have some fun with the character. We kind of pick on them a little bit. <laughs> um, we sing, we do a lot of jokes. It's just overall a fun time. We yeah. have fun. So where, where can people go to see you? And I know you also do some some charity events. I just finished last month a, a benefit show, a charity for a local animal charity. It's called Santa Claus for Paws. Um, and this charity is really near to my heart because um, the people who run the charity, they're good friends of mine. They actually babysit my pets. I have four pets, not including Critter. <laughs> um, <laughs> so they're really close to my heart. And this charity, Santa Claus for Paws, um, they collect donations and they distribute the donations like toys and uh, pet food and things like that to local animal shelters throughout Horry County. It's just a great, great organization. Awesome. Yeah. So, so people could see you at, at charity events like that. And you also do private events for folks, right? I do. I do. <laughs> I'll tell you my, my most fun private show was a um, from a company in North Carolina and they had um, this company had 200 male employees and 30 female employees so they sent all of their female employees down to Myrtle Beach where I'm born and raised and we had a girls night and it was such a fun show we had so much fun okay speaking of girls you have another character that's a perfect segue into I believe her name is Pearl I do. All right. See you, Critter. Say Bye, Critter. Who do we have here, Deegan? Hello, oh, Nicole. It's so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Is this Pearl? This is Pearl. Now, Pearl is an alien from outer space, and she has come to Earth not to destroy mankind, but to date a man of every kind. Mm. Oh, that's right, Nicole. I'm here to find me a man. You know any? You know what I mean? Mm, I'm going to have to think about that, Pearl. So I, how, how are things working out for Pearl in her search right now? Not very well. <laughs> not, not too good? Oh, <laughs> uh, no. None of the men here on Earth will do what I say. I want a man that's going to follow my orders, Nicole. Come on. Hey, you know what? We all want one like that. So if you find one, get us all one, right? Exactly. <laughs> you know, I, I have a good man, but I see what you're saying. If you can get one to follow orders, Pearl, that's the ticket. Maybe you could, aliens don't have a spell you can put on them or something? Well, I do have my alien love call. You want to hear it? Oh, uh, absolutely. Hey, let's hear your alien love call, Pearl. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was some sort of love call, Pearl. Nice. I don't. I don't know why that's not working for you. 
I know, there's no men around here, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of think Pearl has a little bit of Dolly Parton look going on there. <laughs> and that's, I take that as a huge compliment, Nicole. <laughs> you should. Dolly is absolutely fabulous. So how did you come up with creating Pearl, Degan? Well, I knew I wanted, I knew I wanted a little diva. <laughs> sure. Um, I knew, you know, I wanted something to bounce off of my other characters well. Critter's kind of a sweet and innocent little dude, but Pearl is like the total opposite, you know? Yeah. You're just, you know, get, get her a man. Um, it took a lot of playing around. Again, my mom helped me, and we just, you know, we knew we had a vision for the character. We drew it on paper, um, and it took a lot of playing around, but eventually we kind of, she's actually, you know, she's custom as well, so she, She's a prototype. There's not another puppet in the world like any of my characters. So, you know. I I'll love that. So, you know, I never thought about how these characters are created and the puppets are created. So you actually have to send them off to a doll company, you were saying. Well, tell me about that. Yeah, my two figures, Pearl and Critter, um, they were created by Chance Wolf. He makes custom doll figures just like these. Um, he's an expert at making the figures, the ones on the stick. See if I can pop her head yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> and Pearl is a lot of work. <laughs> Pearl is a lot of work. Yeah, because her her little chest was also custom. Wow. And it's like it's hard. It's wood, you know. They're not soft puppets. Yeah, you just don't really think about that when you're watching someone on stage. All that that goes into their their puppets, their characters, and. Exactly. and and all that you are doing to bring this puppet and character to life for us to enjoy. So very cool. Oh, thank you. Talk about when you met what you would consider your role model, so to speak. Uh, absolutely. Well, um, my I guess my biggest role model is probably my mom, but my biggest stand-up ventriloquism role model, probably Jeff. To Jeff Dunham. When I was 14, my mom took me to the International Ventriloquist Convention. And Jeff is such a humble and down-to-earth person. He goes every year and he really honors and gives back to the community. It's a really small community, so everybody kind of knows each other. Um, and when I was 14, I got to go to my first convention and Jeff was doing a workshop and he was teaching you how to write your own material and how to animate your puppet. And I took the workshop, and it was so cool. And afterwards, I got to talk to him for like five minutes, and it was the highlight of my life. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was great. I learned a lot, and it was it was just awesome to see somebody that successful still be such like a down to earth person. It was really really cool. Do you think that you might want to try to take your act to some of the shows that are nationally where because that was really one of the things that catapulted him? Absolutely. I mean. That's the dream. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to build my own fan base like Jeff and Tor. Um, but if I'm big dreaming, that's like my ultimate dream. <laughs> well, don't give up on your dreams. You're very talented. And I love the characters that you created. I mean, clearly, mm -hmm. you have a love and passion for what you do. And I think that's the start right there. And just keep yeah. keep going at it and, and not stopping. So how can people locate you and, and learn about you if they want to book you for their private party or, you know, make sure that they can follow you and, and catch your next act? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you can check me out on Facebook. Just I have a really unique name, Deegan Hudson. <laughs> uh, you'll see all the puppets, so you'll know it's me. So I'm on Facebook, Deegan Hudson, Instagram, Deegan Hudson. Um, my website, DeganHudson.com, <laughs> um, and I, I have all my puppets on there, and I have my dates for my upcoming shows on my website, and of course on my Facebook um, and my Instagram, and that's how you can contact me if you want to meet these little weirdos in person. <laughs> I love it. So what, what would Pearl say about you? If Pearl oh, said something about you, what would Pearl say? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, Pearl thinks I'm a prude. Uh, Pearl would probably say, don't put me in a box, right? <laughs> oh, definitely, yeah. See, Nicole, what's your husband look like? Oh, Pearl, he's so handsome. Dark hair, tall, beautiful smile, everything I ever wanted. That is just my type. Pearl, come on, you can't flirt with Nicole's husband. He's married. His heart belongs to his wife. Well, what about the rest of him? <laughs> 
Oh, Pearl, you'll find you a man soon. <laughs> yes, yeah. Dean, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. I'm so honored to be on the show. I'm I'm really, really honored that, that you would have me. So thank you so much. Absolutely. It's the sky's the limit for you, Pearl and Critter and the rest of the gang. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> it's so sweet. Excellent. And that will do it for this edition of Conversations with Nicole. Until I see you again, I hope you have a great day. <laughs> This segment of Conversations by Nicole is sponsored by Lifetime Hearing Services with three locations in Florence, Hartsville, and Camden. Visit us on Facebook and at LifetimeHearingServices.com. Until next time, be well, stay grateful, and be blessed. This episode of Conversations with Nicole has been sponsored by the following. AB Tax Service. AB Tax is your key to financial success, providing quality bookkeeping, tax preparation, and IRS assistance for individuals, entrepreneurs, and small business owners year-round. Give us a call today at 843-413-0050. Ann King, brand name real estate broker agent. Looking to purchase your first home, downsizing or relocating and wanting to sell? Ann King, a licensed broker with brand name real estate, is here to serve you. Got questions? Call the pro. Who knows? Call Ann at 843-245-6486. 19th Green Indoor Golf Park. Looking for something different and fun to do? Check out the 19th Green. Florence's only indoor golf center, offering regular specials, discounts to first responders and veterans. Located at 112 Woody Jones Boulevard, Florence, South Carolina, 29501, next to Academy Sports. At Your Place Healthcare, need a DOT physical? Don't have time to wait in line? Need quick and trusted results? Call At Your Place Healthcare to schedule your appointment today, 843-289-5061, or visit them online at atyourplacehealthcare.com. This episode of Conversations with Nicole is sponsored by Red Silk Media Group. Red Silk Media Group specializes in business branding, marketing, and advertising services for entrepreneurs, startups, and small businesses. Give them a call to schedule your free 30-minute consultation at 855-773-3745 or visit them online at redsilkmediagroup.com. Red Silk Media Group innovative design to expand your brand.